When you're up for gloves among the best. Sports legends, the making of Ken Kenyatta. This is not a story about Ushuru FC, nor is it about KRA. Neither is it about how they finished 12th in the league. For this generation, Ken Kenyatta is just another name that might not ring a bell. For those who take some time out to watch the local league, you will just associate him with KRA, now known as Ushuru FC. But there is a story to the tall, bulging figure that Ken Kenyatta oozes. That height is not in vain. Somehow he used it so well that I'm obliged to tell something about his height, but this is not a story about heights. This is the story of one of the tallest showstoppers to ever adorn the national colors. He remains one of the best shot stoppers to ever command the line of defense for Harambe Stars. He featured for Harambe Stars for six straight years. He featured for AFC Leopards when the name did matter. He made a darling with Gormahia fans in equal measures that pissed them off. He was once Kenya one, simply put. He was a midfielder before settling in between the poles. This is the story of Ken Kenyatta. He who is now Talanta FC tactician, a man so humble you would love to listen to him. Ken Kenyatta was born on the 22nd day of the 11th month of the calendar year in 1968 in Kisi town. The soft-spoken tactician attended his primary education at Kisi Primary School before proceeding to Sameta High School and finally Musingu High School, another football powerhouse. His football career begins here. Here he was in the company of the late Alfayo Odongo, where he met players like Henry Ogara, Gabriel Olang, Mike Ambani, Computa, who all represented their greatest opponent at the time, Kakamega High. His football dream was nurtured at the Kisi Youth Olympic Center under John Champion and Akbal Khan, who helped nurture the likes of Richard Otambo, the late Henry Nyandoro, and Henry Motego. Ule coach ambao alini nacha, alikuwa naito John Champion. Walikuwa nafanya shooting, kulikuwa na, kulikuwa na uh, Youth Olympic, kulikuwa na Youth Centers, ambao walikuwa na nacha talent from the tender age. Uh, nafikiri ya nilikuwa nyuma ya goli, hiyo time team ilikuwa inafanya shooting. Nikadaivi, jama moja kapiga ball, nikadaivia ball ikapita kwa goli, inje ya goli nikaidaivia. Nikalandi nao chini, coach akasema misha training, akasema, huyu atakuwa goalkeeper. Alipostopisha training, aliniweka kwa group ya youth C, uh, na youth C likuwa kundulikuwa na age category. Uh, kuna under 15 kulikuwa na under 18 na kulikuwa seniors mpaka 23 so seniors wao ndio walikuwa youth A so nikaanza ku train na hiyo youth C nikakuja nika train nika train nika grow nikakuja nika nika qualify kuingia youth B youth B nilipata kina Salim Mabruk ambao walikuwa seniors wangu nilipata Omar Tigana nilipata player moja alikuwa anaitwa George Mukabi kuna mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Yamba Yamba so uh, tulipokuwa tukicheza ma game uh, nilikuwa na shika goli mpaka mashabiki wananifuata hadi siku moja timu nyingine ilikuwa inaitwa Nyaribari 2 kulikuwa striker moja alikuwa anatambulika kama yende alikuwa striker alikuwa anaitwa John Nyangara alikuwa anafanya stand chart alikuwa player mdeadly alikuwa striker mdeadly sana so hiyo siku aliponifunga alitembea na pick up town mzima akisema ule mtoto mmeshindwa kumfunga hapa kisi leo nimemfunga in 1968 while still in high school he was already featuring for shabana alongside michael koth who was at itero high school by then okoth was also featured as a goalkeeper okoth was later to change his position to become a striker one of kenya's finest at that 
So the Youth Olympic, Youth End ilikuwa converted into Shabana. By that time, uh, coach alikuwa ni, ni John Champion, assistant worker alikuwa Akubal Khan. Uh, na awa Akubal Khan, uh, walikuwa naitu wa Rangimbili. So this case, awa ndo walikuwa nalipiaga school fees. Uh, na shule mimi nafikiria katika high school, sikuwa ilipa school fees. Nilikuwa nasoma free. Kwa sababu nilikuwa mzuri, kila, kila shule ilikuwa inanitaji. Ilikuwa inatachi survey zangu. So, on condition that wana nipeleka shule free. Na mwenye alikuwa na nipigia upato ni coach John Champion. Alikuwa na wambia background ya Ken Kenyatta sipoa. Tunaomba tu kama anaiza soma free. So, kila shule ilikuwa ina over education for me for free. And I thank God for that. After school, Ken was to feature for Nyeri Stima and Sony Sugar before finally settling at Kisumu Posta, where his career takes a silver twist of sorts for the better. Here he was fighting for the position of Charles Omondi Korea. At Kisumu Posta, he was under Henry Omino, where he was signed together with Winas Shavula and Mohamed Saif. In 1990, he was given a call-up to the national team due to public demand and pressure from Gormahia fans, despite featuring for Kisumu Posta, who came second in the league that year, Mahia won the cup. Jerry Sora was the then coach. Here he was competing for the position of the other seven goalkeepers, which include Charles Omondi Correa, Gormahia, John Busolo, Ken Maisi, AFC Leopards, Ignatius Kadul, Bandari, Mohamed Abbas, David Ocheng, among others. Nikakuja nikauliza Sami Nyango Jogo. Mimi ni mtoto mdogo compared to compared na ama goalkeeper kwa hapa kwa sababu kulikuwa na Taira Zomondi, kulikuwa na David Ochieng, kuna Tobias Maira, kuna Mohamed Sheru. Nikamuuliza Sami hapa mimi ni mtoto sana kwa hawa. Hapa sitapata namba hata nikisaini hapa. Si ni kari yangu itaisha. Nikamwambia wacha mimi watu wa Nyeristima wameni walinifuata, wacha niende nisikie wanasema nini. Ndiyo nika join Nyeristima, tukacheza league, ambao sasa eh, Super League, ndiyo likuwe, ndiyo saa hii naitua Premier League. Hiyo time sasa Super League, ndiyo Premier League ya sasa. So nika join Nyeristima, nika wachezea. So by that time, kulikuwa na coach, alikuwa naitua Henry Romino, alikuwa na coach Nyeri Posta. Haka ni identify, kuna time kisumu Posta ilikuwa ishuke kwa league. Uh, Haka tolewa nyeri, haka pelekwa kisumu kuenda kurescue, kisumu posta, isi shuke liku. So wali poenda, wali nitumia, wali niandikia barua na wakantumia telegram kwa mba mina itajika. Wakantumia transport ni kandazangu kisumu posta. Eh, by that time, kisumu posta wali kwa nachiza friendly na river techs. Na kisumu posta wali kwa nangazia ule goalkeeper wali kwa naito jals buire nyamodeche. Kabura ingie taz, eh, Kenya Brewers ambao inaitwa Tasca sasa hivi. So Nyamodeji yako kwa ile goli na mimi kwa hii goli anachezea Rivertex na mimi nacheza Kisum Post. Mimi ni mgeni si train nao hata siku moja. So nikawashikia hiyo game tukafunga Rivertex na wachezaji wakaulizwa between Nyamodeji na Kenyatta mnataka nani? Wachezaji wote wakasema tunataka Kenyatta. So hivyo ndo ni resignwa Kisum Post. Um, na nikapewa job posta so nikawa na chesea kisumu posta. Nika chesea kisumu posta hiyo 1991. Na nika itua national team hiyo hiyo hiyo. It was his timekeeping habit that gave him an opportunity to feature for the national team as he had a lot of time with the coach before the senior players showed up for training. Later on, when Mahmoud Abbas quit and David Ocheng sustained an injury during training, his break came through. In 1991, he was picked for the Eastern Central Assignment Tournament alongside Charles Omondi Korea and Ken Maisi in Uganda. His first game was to come against Taifa Stars in Dar es Salaam, where Harambe Stars won 2-0. 
Here, Simba fans gave him a TV set plus 31,000 Kenya shillings for him to join them. So, vile nilikosa kwenda, vile nilikosa kwenda ulinzi, uh, team manager wa national team alikuwa ni secretary wa ulinzi. Nilipokosa kwenda kuchezea ulinzi, nafikiri nilipata frustrations mpaka nika nikatolewa kwa national team kwa sababu nilikataa kuchezea team kadhaa nikaenda FC Leopards His second game was against Zanzibar where the Stars won 7 goals to 1 at the Eastern Central Tournament he had come of age he had earned his position he was now among the top Kenya 3 for a man who began his career as a midfielder this was a great achievement in a short period of time Okay mimi nikaangalia vile nimechezea national team na timu mingi zinanihitaji zinahitaji services zangu nikaangalia uh, nilikuwa nilikuwa nafanya Kenya Power nikawacha job nikaenda Kisumu so nikaangalia juu Kisumu amenipatia job siwezi wacha hiyo job tena niende Brewers nikaona sitawahi settle down so nika opt to settle down na uh, Kenya Post and Telecommunication so Nilipo tulipo in the Africa Cup of Nations. Nili sign contracts na agent moja, mimi na Michael Koth. Michael Koth tulikuwa kama roommates. Tuli sign contract, mimi, George Sunguti. We were three players. Tukua tuende Belgium. So wakati Michael Koth, uh, ule manager likuja kutuchukua, mimi nilikuwa nafanya job kisumu. Uh, na Michael Kotha likuwa nafanya job Kenya Breweries. So, ule manager alimuliza, uh, wale, wale players wengine wako wapi? Mike nafikiri alimuambia, ajui mali tuko. So, walienda na Mike. So, Mike hivondi alienda upro. Situ design contract ya kuenda kuchisa upro, lakini hatu ungeza kuenda. Uh, kwa sababu ambao hatuwezi singeza ku, kujibu kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa far away from Nairobi George Sunguti alikuwa hiyo time nafikiria alikuwa FC Leopards if not uh, Gormaya because George Sunguti played for FC Leopards and Gormaya na Kisumu Brewers uh, so Mike akikuja camp akitwa akikuja camp from Belgium ananiambia kuna team nitafute tu air ticket na mwambia mimi I think God only knew I can take up Kenya. In 1993, Ken Kenyatta was dropped from Kisumu Posta. He was approached by Bata Bullet FC, Rivertex FC, Shabana FC, Kenya Breweries FC, and now Tusker. Ken Kenyatta decided to head back to Shabana FC. He left Shabana for Transcom FC. Here, Kenyatta claims not even a single team from Nairobi scored against him, and that is why all of them wanted to sign him. He indulges that during games against Gormahia, it took the security to take him off the pitch. The fans were good, they had made a problem. They trained at Gormahia one day. So fans were going to be able to get a sign at Gormahia, but they were not going to be able to get a sign. So, they were going to be able to get a sign at the FC. They were going to be able to get a sign at the railway club. Nilia kupita kwa fence, ni rudi, ni, de, ni kwa nafanya city square hapo post office. Nika ingia city square, ndio nika find a way home na nguo za mazoezi. So nguo zangu ziripotea hivyo hivyo. Walikuwa nafikiria, mini kwa nime saina goro, ni saina FC. Out of the five teams, Reunion, AFC Leopards, Tusker, Ulinzi and Gormahia that were after his signature, he decided that AFC Leopards would be his next home. And just like that, he would feature for the Leopards in the 1996-1997 season. At AFC Leopards, he won the Moy Golden Cup, the league, and Eastern Central Club champions. After differences with the management, he quit and headed to Reunion, where he only featured for three games. Just as any other great player of his time, his career takes a final dip at its peak.
Nilicheze FC Leopard, tulishinda Moy Golden, tulishinda Eastern Central Club Champion. Uh, kwa national team, uh, the highest tulipiga Eastern Central, tulicheza finali na Zambia, ile timu ili kufagana ndege. Ok, nafikiri, hiyo time nafikiri nime, nimekuwa, tume, nimechizea kisumu posta, tukisa Continental. Nimechizea FC Leopard, tukiwa, tumechizea Continental, nimechizea national team. Uh, nafikiri, wakati huo, uh, at that time, Mimi niko satisfied uh, mali nilicheza kulingana pia football ya Kenya kidogo lazima mtu akushike mkono ndio kwa mali fulani but mimi siezi pingana na mtu nafikiri God ananifaitia na Mungu alinifaitia tu yeye uh, nilifika in 2014 Ken Kenyatta made a comeback into the top tier league as a coach Nilianza coach team ya Karuri Posta. Niliwapata wakiwa first leg wamecheza wako second last. Nikawachukua second leg wakamaza number th position 3. Uh, nikakuja nikaanzisha nikaanzisha team mta wangu mali naishi Rongai. Um, nika kiwanja ilikuwa na goal za, uh, za goal post zilikuwa za mbao nika organize nika kaweka goal za chuma ni nika organize vijana timu za premier league zinakuja eh, Kenya pipeline green berets eh, sakiriko walikuwa nakuja tunawafunga so tunaenda KCB tunafunga KCB kwa ground yao eh, nikakuja nikaamua kuform team mali nafanya job ambao ni Posta Rangers nilianzisha hiyo team tukaenda Kikoso tukacheza Kikoso games ndio nikuja nikaanzisha team nikakana hiyo one year nikatafuta sponsorship nilikuwa naenda kwa banks wanakuja wanapiga picha wanaenda nikakuja nikapata uh, Michael Onyura ambao alikuwa ni MP wa Vutula huyu alikuwa gani ni commission wa HR Kenya Revenue Authority. Tulikutana naye Kericho kama mimi natoka Kisina kuja hivi. Akanishika kutoka nyuma. Nikashtuka Jumisi mjui akaniambia mimi nilikuwa follower wako. Ni ukicheza FC Leopards na mimi nimekuwa chairman wa uh, apa, apa Kericho Federation na mimi nafanya na Kenya Revenue Authority. Na mimi nikamwambia kuna timu nimeanzisha hapa tume general kwa Kenya kwa East Africa Catholic University kuna kulikuwa na 30 teams tume qualify tumefika finali tunaomba kama hiyo team inaweza pata sponsor akaniambia akanipatia 10000 akaniambia endo unulio wachezaji lunch hiyo siku finali nitakuja na akakuja tukashinda kikombe then from there akasema hii team tuka present hiyo cup officially pale third floor uh, pale Times Tower wakasema from there tutakuwa na sponsor team na hiyo ndio ilikuja ikakuwa kiare late ikakuja ikaitwa ushuru uh, ushuru ni coach tukafika Premier League tukashuka tena tukacheza playoffs mara mbili uh, 2019 July tulimaliza number 4 the, for the first time zai maza number 4 mu maza number number 2 3 uh, nafikiri kulikuwa kuna difficulties watu walikuwa kiona nina qualify na kanyagiwa but all in all it's life na ili ni make me come strong uh, watu wakawa wanasema Ken Kenyatta na perform juu ako kiare kiare iko na pesa na mimi nikasema pesa ichezi ball so nilipotoka kiare that was 2019 July uh, nilika nje 1 year and 6 months Talanta wakanifuata. Nikakuja nikapata team. Hakuna wachezaji hawakuji mazoezi. So nika kutendeza team mpya. Na hiyo team mpya ndio nimecheza nime nao season moja na nimeingia kwa Premier League.
Ken Kenyatta, who is returning to the Kenyan top-tier league after half a decade hiatus, has attributed Talanta's success to a well-worked-out plan that was supported by both the playing unit and the management. In his first season in charge, the seasoned tactician led the Gems Cambridge Stadium-based side that was established in 2012 to achieve their biggest feat at their sixth stab, having made failed attempts in their past six seasons at the second-tier league. So it is the hard working and the plan to get into the Premier League. So I think I really worked. I worked so much to get there, and I thank God for that. So, nafikiri story yangu inaweza ikamilishi hapo and of football mimi ni mtu ni niko na watoto mtu wangu mmoja kwa university Citec University mwingine ako form 4 hapa hill na mwingine ako form 3 uh, Nairobi Milimani naishi Rongai hapo nilijenga kama ni mimi ni mchezaji nikicheza Celopat that is back in 1997 so i live in my home and I think I thank God for that. So, I say, Wale ambao ni mashabiki wangu hapa Kenya, na washukuru sana, wananipa ngufu, wananipatia motisha, ya kufanya kazi na roo, pia mungu wa menipa uwai. Naomba mungu, siku moja, atasikia, maybe siku moja watakubali wanipatie national team hata under 20, under, hata under 15. What I honor the changes that Ken can make. For me, Nafkiri, I'm happy where I am. Nashkuru Mnyez Mungu. Here is Kenyatta's best 11 while at AFC Leopards. Ken Kenyatta between the poles, Francis Odwol, John Lichuku the Late, Paulo Chieng, Francis Barraza, David Odhiambo Deo, David Ochieng Moral, Omar Banza, Idi Abubakar, Tonis Achero, Tom Terra, Alfayo Odongo the Late and Tony Luanga. At Harambe Stars, Ken Kenyatta, Tobias Ochola, George Sunguti, Sami Omolo, Pamzo, Sami Shole, Alan Odhiambo, Ale Ale, Michael Koff, Michael Tieno, Felix Otieno, the Late, Peter Mololo, Tony Luanga, Simon Dungu, Henry Nyandoro, Sami Onyango, Jogo, the Late. James Bwabi, Harun Wangila, and Vincent Kwarula.